In this week's Friday Five, we talk about Ferrite Recording Studio, one of the best iOS apps for recording your voice. Let's check it out. Quick and easy recording. One of the great things about Ferrite is that it lets you quickly start a new recording as soon as you open it. The app also features a handy audio meter and it allows you to adjust the microphone gain right from the recording interface. Of course, Ferrite also works with iOS compatible microphones like Shure's excellent MV88 Lightning microphone. Ferrite is particularly great for voiceovers and podcasts and I use it all the time while on the go. Bookmarks. While in the middle of a recording, you'll notice a large bookmark button at the bottom of the interface. If you like to record multiple takes, then bookmarks can save you a lot of time by allowing you to mark where each new take is about to begin. Once the recording is completed, you can venture into the inspector to view and rename individual bookmarks, and you can also access bookmarks within the multi-track editor, and to save you time in post-production, you can quickly jump between those bookmarks in the multi-track editor. Creating multi-track projects. Each standalone recording in Ferrite is saved as its own separate entity, but you can easily build a multi-track editing project out of a single recording by simply tapping the edit button. And additional tracks can be added to a multi-track project by creating new recordings within Ferrite or by importing audio from external sources. Editing audio, effects, and automation. You'll need to understand that Ferrite Recording Studio is not so much a multi-track recording studio as it is an editing suite for multi-track audio. It's thus great for performing post-production edits on things like voiceovers and podcasts, monologues, not so much creating music compositions and things like that. The editor supports things like fades, automatic crossfades on overlapping tracks, quickly trimming tracks using split commands and drag handles, adjusting volume and panning, and even more advanced tools like ducking and strip silence, which is extremely handy for podcast editing. There's even a ripple delete option when deleting clips to help speed up your workflow, and there's a customizable toolbar at the bottom of the interface for quickly executing actions. Effects and automation are also core parts of Ferrite Recording Studio, but these are accessible via an in-app purchase. The effects library contains a compressor, high and low pass filters, noise gate, and other useful effects that can be customized to your liking. There's also automation, and this can be applied to individual components of a particular effect, along with volume and track panning. Exporting. Ferrite allows users to record audio in either lossless or lossy format, and the same goes for exporting audio and audio projects. Users also have the option of exporting as a stereo recording or mixing down to a mono recording. Folks, if you regularly edit voiceovers or podcasts, then you should definitely give Ferrite Recording Studio a try. And I say this because you can download it free of charge from the App Store, although some of the features like effects and automation do require an in-app purchase but it's hands down one of the best audio recording apps that I've tried on iOS and I use it all the time on my iPad. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. This is Jeff with 9to5Mac.